The diversity of microbes in our gut is directly correlated to our overall health and well-being. However, we are slowly losing out on our gut microbial diversity due to various reasons. In this video, I am going to tell you an effective three-step strategy to improve our gut microbial diversity so that we can experience the full potential of our health. If you are interested in finding out, please keep watching. Hi everyone, my name is Nirupama. I am a PhD in food science and a certified nutrition coach. Along with making YouTube videos, I also offer personal health consultations. If you are interested in getting in touch with me, I'll leave a link to my website in the description box. Gut microbiome refers to the microbial population of our gut. Initially, this microbial population was largely considered to consist of bacteria. But we now know that others like fungi, viruses and parasites are also normal inhabitants of our gut. We know that there are about 300 to 500 bacterial species alone residing in our gut. It's safe to say that there is a huge diversity of microorganisms in our gut. A growing concern has been the loss of this microbial diversity, which means that some species of bacteria and fungi which were originally present in our gut are now no longer found. While a lot of the gut microbial diversity has been lost over thousands of years, some of this loss has happened more recently with city dwellers having lost the most gut microbial diversity. Since diversity of gut microbes is directly correlated to our health, loss of microbial diversity also means loss of adequate nutrient absorption and metabolism, loss of hormone function, loss of immune function, fat storage, poor metabolism and even poor sleep. It is also important to understand that when we lose gut microbial diversity, we are also losing on the opportunity of vertical transmission, which means that we now have fewer species of microbes to pass on to our future generations. This unfortunately also increases their risk to a variety of health problems. Think about it. Our generation is already witnessing a massive explosion in a various number of chronic health conditions. Obesity, thyroid problems, diabetes, high blood cholesterol, PCOS in women are far more common now than they were in our previous generations. So why are we losing on our gut microbial diversity? Top reasons are number one, poor dietary choices and low intake of fiber in our diet. Low fiber intake has resulted in loss of fiber digesting bacteria from our gut. Number two, heavy dependence on ultra processed and packaged foods which are high in salt, sugar, additives and sweeteners. Number three, rampant usage of antibiotics in children as well as in adults. Number four, increased incidences of C-section deliveries and increase in incidences of formula feeding. And number five, an extremely stressful lifestyle. So here comes my three-step strategy to improve your gut microbial diversity. Step number one is remove or eliminate all and any ultra-processed food items from your diet. These include biscuits, fruit juices, flavored yogurts, industrial breads, salad dressings, ketchup, ice creams, confectionaries and the list goes on. A good rule of thumb is that if any packaged food contains more than three or four ingredients in it, you must stop buying it and consuming it. Along with these, you will also have to stop consumption of outside food, which are restaurant food or takeaway food, which without a doubt are high in salt, sugar, spices, cream, fats and oils. The third thing to eliminate from the diet would be any trigger foods that you know of. So for example, if you know that gluten or lactose or certain dals or spices irritate your gut, they mess up with your digestion or they make you feel bloated, you want to eliminate those foods from your diet. By following this first step of of elimination, you will allow the gut to correct the state of gut dysbiosis. Dysbiosis is a state of imbalance in the community of microbes in the gut. In this state, the composition of gut microbes changes, the diversity of gut microbes goes down and there is an increase in number of bad bacterial strains in the gut. Removal or elimination of ultra-processed food, outside food or takeaway foods and your trigger foods will further prevent the growth and proliferation of these bad guys in your gut. Once this step of elimination has been achieved, the next step would be to revive and recover your gut microbial diversity. For this, you've got to do three things. Number one is to focus on a plant-based diet. 
a plant based diet of whole grains legumes nuts seeds fruits and vegetables will help recover your gut microbial diversity like nothing else so if you are somebody who's a heavy meat eater you might want to shift your focus on a plant based diet for some time research has shown that a plant based diet of 8 to 16 weeks can significantly improve the composition of favorable microbes in our gut number 2 would be to focus on prebiotic foods prebiotics serve as food for our gut microbes research has shown that a diet rich in prebiotics can significantly help in nourishing and promoting the growth and diversity of good strains of gut microbes prebiotics are basically a kind of dietary fiber but not all dietary fiber can be called prebiotics prebiotics are adequately present in foods such as bananas both in its ripe and raw form garlic milk and milk products legumes sweet potatoes in fact we now know that cooked and cool rice as well as cooked and cooled potatoes contain resistant starch which also serve as prebiotic food for our gut microbes number 3 remember that variety is key Our gut microbes don't just need fiber. Research has shown that presence of micronutrients that is vitamins and minerals also influence the composition of our gut microbiota. Vitamins B, C, D, E and minerals like calcium, iron and magnesium influence the growth of beneficial gut microbes. So to ensure good gut diversity we must ensure a variety in our diet variety in terms of the grains that we consume variety in terms of the nuts seeds fruits vegetables and legumes that we consume if you are somebody who's a picky eater and your diet just consists of a few selective food items you're killing off the diversity of your gut microbes step number 3 is reintroduce once you have eliminated ultra processed deep fried and packaged foods from your diet and you have helped revive the diversity of gut microbes with a variety of plant based foods it is time to reintroduce good bacterial strains back into your gut This can be done by using probiotic cultures that are available in the market in the form of supplement or by incorporating enough probiotic rich foods in your diet like curd, kanji, kimchi and sauerkraut. The truth is that even if you consume a probiotic supplement or probiotic foods, not all the bacterial strains in this supplement or food will be able to colonize the gut. Some will just pass through the gut, some will transiently colonize the gut and only a few will be able to establish long term colonization in the gut. To improve the chances of colonization by these beneficial microbes, it is recommended to consume probiotic foods continuously for at least 3 to 6 months to be able to see their true benefits. A quick recap of my 3 step strategy to improve the diversity of microbes in your gut. Number 1 would be to remove or eliminate ultra processed outside and trigger foods. Number 2 would be to revive or regrow the diversity of microbes in our gut by consuming a variety of plant based foods and prebiotic foods. And number 3 would be to reintroduce beneficial strains of bacteria by the use of probiotics. Now these 3 steps are not mutually exclusive and they can be followed at the same time. That's all from me for today. I hope this video was useful and that you would have got some insight sites on how to improve your gut microbial diversity which is so important for improving our overall health i'll see you guys in my next video take care until then bye